when Jay was going through his various rapper beefs, um, what was your take on it? You know, you know, for example, when Jay and Nas were going at it, uh, how did you feel about that? I started that drama, so what you mean how I feel about it? I felt like I got my big homie in some shit. It's going down out here in these New York streets. We gotta hold it down. So like it was that that. So okay, so sorry to interrupt you, but explain you know because because I, I I'd heard the same thing, but so explain how you and Nas first first got into it and how it led up to the J thing. Yeah, we're, we're, now me and Nas actually never got into nothing. It was all that project, you know how it is, he say, she say shit. So Nas had did a freestyle on the Clue tape, I think it was. And they called me, I was in the Bahamas and my homie hit me. He like, yo, Nas getting at you on this joint. So he played it for me over the phone. So niggas like, damn, Nas shitting on you. So I wrote mine right. Like, all right, cool, getting at me, I'm gonna get at you. So then Nas, when, when mine right dropped, you know, it popped, did what it did. Nas had did another freestyle he mentioned Jay, Beans, Freeway, everybody. So he basically opened the floodgate for himself. So once he did that, Hov was like, don't even worry about it, little bro, I got you. And then, you know, take over. Here we go. <laughs> okay, so, so what exactly did Nas say about you initially? He didn't say shit. Somebody lied. He didn't say nothing about me. That was all me just, you know, going off that gas, unlet it, and, <laughs> and I let it fly, baby. Okay, <laughs> um, so so you you basically are taking the credit for the Nas Jay Z beef, pretty much. You said, do I take any credit for it? I mean, are you you're essentially taking the credit from the cause because technically Nas never went at you. You went at Nas, and then that led up to, to Jay. Thing. Yeah, that was the whole thing. Mind right sparked everything. Then the takeover did it. You know what I mean? That was that was the icing on the cake. I, okay, I, I'll be honest with you, and and. Not everyone agrees with me, um, but for example, Schoolboy Q agrees with me. I've always liked Takeover way more than Ether. Of course, who uh, anybody that listened to facts would like Ether was. I, I'm not gonna say it was a bad record. It was dope, but all that shit was just fact, fake shit. He wore jazz chains. He wore this. Like anybody that know. No hove was that nigga, man. So it's just like he didn't say no facts in that song. So that's why I can't hold it up there against Takeover. Takeover was factual. Niggas had pictures to to implement the lines they saying. You know what I mean? Um. So most of the stuff in in, in Ether you say is just com just completely made up. Yes, you can listen listen to it for yourself. Go back. It was just, you know, bunch of lines, you ugly, you big lip nigga, like, well, that ain't facts. <laughs> uh, why do you think so many people feel that Nas, Nas won, though? I, I don't know. Gotta ask them, my dude. I, 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 don't, I don't agree with it. Personally, like, I, like I, I'm telling you, from, from personal opinion, I like TakeOver. I thought it was a better record. Like, Schoolboy Q, me and him. He agreed with me. He said TakeOver is a better record. But when you talk to all, most people, they say the Ether won. Yes, definitely. I hear that. Oh, I heard that. But ask them why. You know, I, you can't really ask me. I'm biased. You think you're going to get me really to see him? Be like, yo, Nas killed my big homie. I don't give a fuck if he did. You ain't going to never hear that from my mouth. You know what I'm saying? Like, they, you know that. Like, and and to be all real, anybody know Takeover. You Jay didn't even have to say nothing after that record. So that was it. Nobody still answered Takeover to me. If you ask me, like that shit was the hardest, one of the hardest diss records in hip hop. <laughs>